Hey there, I'm Nick, a LEGO Master and Creative Builder here on YouTube, where you can find me at Brick Nick. Today we'll be building a creation based on the original series A League of Their Own on Prime Video. We're bringing the home field of the Rockford Futures baseball team, Byers Field, to life in the brick. And we will of course be including some of the main characters from the series. Let's get building. I carefully studied the Peaches home field, noticing the dark green stands with white pillars, dugouts with metal roofs, well-played field, outfield walls, and scoreboard would all be crucial details to capture for this project. To make sure we got this build right, we started with creating a rough layout of the main elements of Byers Field, like the stands, dugouts, field, outfield walls, and scoreboard. This will ensure everything is placed properly and matches the actual field for the final build. With a quick picture of the layout snapped for reference, we can get started with the actual building. In order to have the dugouts a bit lower than the rest of the field, we had to raise up the rest of the base by one brick. First, we framed the entire base with some textured brown pieces around the outside to give it a bit of a polished look. We then laid out some bricks with spacing between them that wouldn't use up too much brick, but easily allows us to place green plates for grass and tan plates and tiles for dirt over top. With the base raised up, we could start laying out some of the more crucial details of the field, like the pitcher's mound and home plate. We use some one step connections to allow us to angle both plates at a 45 degree angle. Then we created that rough and weathered look of a well-used field, using a mix of tan and dark tan tiles and plates around the bases, and then filled the rest in with grass. Finally, we filled in the rest of the base with some grey for some concrete areas underneath the stands, and a little bit more green for some grass, which means that we could finally start on some of the physical structures of the field. First up, we tackled the dugouts, where we included a concrete floor, steps, railings, benches, some shelving, and the corrugated metal roofing. The stands required some more in-depth planning. Given that the center of the stand sits at a 45 degree angle compared to the rest of the field, we carefully laid out a rough approximation of where we wanted it. Next, we jumped over to working on some of the characters for the build, attaching custom printed stickers I created based on the Rockford Peaches uniform. For our catcher, Carson, we had to build some unique legs to give her a squatting pose that a catcher needs. This was all so we could do a test to ensure that there was enough space for the umpire, catcher, and batter in front of those angled stands. With all of that set, we built up the rest of the stance, ensuring to give it a clean look on the edges with some tiles. For the roof, we decided to be somewhat modular so we could easily access the stands underneath to have a place for all of the fans cheering on the peaches. Then we whipped up some banner detailing, finished off the outfield wall, printed out and placed some custom stickers for the scoreboard and the team, and placed minifigures we built in the dugout, all throughout the stands, and in various positions on the field itself. Even with the characters in the stands, we did our best to capture the look and style of folks from that era, paying attention to the hats, hairstyles, and outfits each fan is wearing. And with all of the minifigures in place, the build is complete. I'm extremely happy with how it turned out. It was so much fun seeing the whole stadium come together, especially enjoy working in lots of tiny details that really make the build feel just like the actual buyer's field. From water coolers in the dugouts, the press box for the announcers, the Rockford Peaches sign and scoreboard, to many of the characters as we could fit in, like Max Chapman and Clance Morgan, to Carson Shaw playing catcher, Greta Gill in the dugout just behind coach Dove Porter, to many other team members out in the field. Since baseball is all about the stats, let's give you some on this build. It measures 15 inches wide, 15 inches long, and 5 inches and a quarter tall. While I didn't count the exact number of pieces used, I guesstimate it has between 1,500 and 2,000. And we built a total of 38 minifigures to really bring the stadium to life. Hope you had as much fun watching this build come to life as I did bringing it to life. And just thank you so much for watching. Happy building out there. Mm -hmm.